Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import background music or how to add background music to your footage, to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray from GrowOnYouTube.com teaching you how to be better. And background music can really help bring your productions to the next level, especially when you're making talking head content or maybe you're editing some gameplay for YouTube. I generally use background music for all my content now, for both my talking head content and sometimes for my gameplay content, depending on what kind of content it is. But here we have a piece of footage which we're going to quickly create a new sequence from clip with come on give me that sequence and that's going to take a couple seconds because obviously Adobe Premiere Pro is going to take its time there we go so we got the sequence let's double click that so we have the sequence up and let's start from like here wow that is loud that we're going to need to turn that down we will turn it down in post-production, but I don't want to be hurting my ears right about now. So let's bring that over there. This isn't edited, of course, because it's just a fresh new clip. If I was to edit this properly, then I'd edit out certain parts and do all that sort of stuff. And I generally do the background music last, but this is just a tutorial showing you how to actually add background music in the first place. Now, I do have my background music already here ready to go. I have created limp loops from different tracks. If you wanna learn how to create loops the best way, I've got a video on that that should be in the cards right now. And that will basically teach you how to make loops like this. Now these are like 20, 30 minute loops. So this will generally work for most of my videos. But now I am doing more long form content like arc raids and stuff like that. I will probably make a 45 minute loop for probably all these loops at some point. But let's go with my Monday YouTube guide loop. Now this was a loop that I created for my Monday YouTube guides when I was doing YouTube guides on Mondays. I will probably create new loops for different types of footage but this is a very good loop i really like this song but as you can see it's not long enough for footage unfortunately so we'd have to manually loop this or i could loop it in um, logic pro x as i did last time but basically now we have the background music in there with our footage but if we was to listen to it like this it's probably going to be very very unbalanced so let's quickly play this and see what it sounded like <laughs> way too loud right way too loud you're not going to be able to hear anything of any sort in there but as you can see it's on audio track three so what we can just do is bring that right down i generally go to under 20 probably at like around 25 something like that and now it's a nice background kind of sound i'm not actually talking in this part so we can't actually compare it to see how Oh no, this is actually Vex. So as you can see in that in that clip, you can hear my voice and you can hear the background music, but it's not, we're not really getting to a point where the background music is in the background. That's very much in the foreground. It's very much fighting with my personal audio. So what we'll do is we'll just bring it down to like 34, because we want it to be in the background. We want you to be able to hear it but i don't want it to overtake what's actually going on in the foreground this is vex so as he you can hear built, he's built it he's building the raid base so as you can hear you can hear what i'm saying and the background music is more in the background now if you want to go a little step further what i would suggest is maybe using some eq techniques to make space for your your foreground audio and make space for your background audio but if you want more advanced techniques like that leave a comment down below and i can get to that in another video but we've got the background music i wouldn't use this background music for this particular video i'd use some more subtle background music that is more like battle music for the game that will really accentuate what's actually going on there we could actually do that right now you know what let's do that let's get rid of this 
and we'll just bring in a track from iTunes real quick. All right, so here we are. Let's go to the epic background music and we can test out some background music in here that'll probably be better suited to this type of content. So let's go Choirs of War. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's bring that down. This sounds like reasonable background music. Obviously, if I was actually going to edit this video, I'd take a little bit more time and I'd be a little more choosy. I don't know if that's that's the right word. It's probably not the right word, but I'd take my time a little bit more and give it a lot more thought. Let's bring it down to audio track three and let's see how this mixes with my commentary. He's building a raid base to protect himself. Yeah, that is too... Uh, too low at the beginning so we'll have to bring it more further along and and now my voice is just way too loud <laughs> let's bring that down a little bit the raiders are round the corner they're right over here he might have a chance to snipe their rexes before they get put into use this is a really smart decision he is building a raid base to stop them from getting towards his act as you can hear that sounds epic like the story that i'm commentating over like that sounds cool and the actual epic music in the background makes it sound even more epic it sounds like it's a big epic adventure and yeah it really delivers the feeling that i'm trying to go for in this video unlike our jazzy loop that we had from before which i love for my intros my outros i love using this jazzy loop and i think it does really well on my tutorials but for things like this you want some more laid back background music so you'll you'll probably need different background music for different types of content but this is generally the way you do it you fling in your background music and you just try and find the levels i would use some compression on this audio track which is what i'm going to do when i actually edit this video i'm going to use some compression so that it actually stays the same audio level throughout so that it's not going all over the place so it's not too low in some points and not too high in other points and you could do that with the music tracks but generally the music tracks have already been compressed and mastered so you won't have to worry about that if you want me to go in depth on compression dynamics that sort of stuff to keep your audio one level throughout to aid your background music then be sure to leave that in the comment section below i don't want to go too in depth in this video as i'm sure many people just search for this video so that they can add some background music to their their footage and i don't want to go on and on about stuff that's not really relevant to what you guys want but if that is something that you guys would want, then I'll make an updated advanced video to give you guys that information. But I hope this video really helped you guys out. If you want to upgrade your editing and help out the channel, then go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Red Giant now. Red Giant make a bunch of plugins that make complicated editing techniques easier. The titles and transitions that you've just seen were created using Red Giant Universe. Red Giant plugins like Universe and the Magic Bullet Color Suite help me save time and allow me to create professional looking content for you guys. The best thing is that you can try their plugins out for free. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash Red Giant to try those plugins out for free now. If you decide that you like their plugins after trying them out for a bit, you can use the code JCARTARAY for 10% off your purchase. Get your free trial of any of these awesome plugins now and make your editing life easier at growonyoutube.com forward slash red giant. Before you guys go, I just want to let you know that you can download your free end screen graphic by clicking on the link in the description. This end screen graphic is easy to add to the end of your videos and will allow you to have a professional looking end screen. So be sure to download that in the description below. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.